Okay, today guys, I want to show you this software that we use quite often. I'm going to do this short tutorial on just some of the basic tools, mainly just this Bezier curve and a straight line tool. But uh, I'm hoping this will help you get started in using Inkscape. Um, I know it's been, it's been very useful to us for making patterns or tracing things that we want to cut out of images to use in some of the work we do. So uh, stick around and we'll get right to it. Okay, so when you first open Inkscape, you're gonna be in a in this um, workbench or whatever you wanna call it, where you're gonna start your, your drawing. Um, one of the most popular tools to use is this Draw Bezier Curves and Straight Lines tool. It's probably the tool we use the most often um, just because of the the kind of the freedom it gives you to adjust things so to start out showing you how you use this we'll just draw a sim uh, somewhat of a simple shape it's a star and uh, just draw the star and you just click where you want each point to be and see it's the star looks like crap right now but uh, we can adjust that. that's what's the nice thing about this is so after you get your shape drawn and you've uh, made that union or you've joined those last two nodes um, you can go to this editing tool and it's edit paths by nodes and then when you click it um, whatever shape you have selected like to say you would have random shapes on here you'd have to select the shape you want to edit um, you go in here and then you have all the points that you've created and then you can just simply grab them and adjust them it's that it's it's pretty simple um, so just play around with it till you get the design you want and that's about as close to perfect as we're going to get today but uh, what I want to show you is how you can uh, play around with these nodes or add in nodes or you know add curves in or whatever because that's basically what we do with it and I'm thinking that would be helpful uh, to a lot of people especially someone new that hasn't used this before so when you get in here after you've created your shape and you've edited your notes how you want them say you wanted to uh, curve some lines um, first to zoom in you could just hold the control button and then use the scroll wheel on your mouse um, and just move it forward to go in or you can simply use the the zoom tool over here um, so once you get in here we're gonna play around with some of these nodes uh, first if you want to just move a node we've already kind of touched on that but you just move it around then if you want to say curve a line this really isn't part of the node tool but it is in the node editing so you can just grab a line and curve it it's that simple um, control Z to undo anything you've done another way you can curve these lines is to click the line move it just a little bit and then you have these two I'm not real sure what they're called but uh, you can adjust the curve that way and then you can kind of pull it along gives you that point where you can where it really puts that curve so if you're down here it just gives it that slight curve if you're up here it gives it that big curve but then you have that problem right there of the of that kind of getting hung up right in here so the easiest way I found is just to grab it in the middle and kind of just drag it where you want it and then if you want to put like a wave in it or something you can just grab it like that and then grab down here and pull up um, Another nice thing is if you're going around an image or something that you really want to be precise, you can add nodes in when you're tracing around. And you just simply double click where you want that new node. So we're going to add in a few nodes here and show you some of the things you can do with it. So say I wanted to curve this line, but I need it really precise around a certain area. So we'll drag it out. Or drag it in, I'm sorry hold in kind of go ahead and get that rough angle of what you want or that rough curve of what you want and then you can go back through and here's the nice thing about this node editing tool is if you click control or hold control and then cl double click or I'm sorry maybe it's single click yeah you single click on each node it will curve it it's just a slight curve now it's kind of messy but if you're going around a precise you know a precise 
line that you need to trace that comes in really handy and it comes in so handy that as far as that you can go in really close and really add in these nodes and put it in such slight curves that it really helps you get that precision you need okay so we'll um, control Z until those are all gone or until all those movements are gone and then we're back to just these nodes now another nice thing is if you want to put points on something you can grab the middle point between two other points and pull it out to make that sharp curve and this works you know anywhere you want to do this just make three nodes pull out the center and you can add as many of these you know as you want pretty simple and then another I mean of course you you know that if you hold control and click it makes a curve I don't know why you'd want to do that but it look it's it's really simple to use um, like I said this was just to show you some of the basics of basically messing around with these nodes um, it's a great way to get started just to get in there and play around with it and see you know what what can this do what can I how can I adjust things you know how can I trace things um, that's how I started out on it I would imagine that's how anybody that has doesn't have a lot of experience with it has started out with it so um, I'm hoping this was helpful for you and will help you get in to using Inkscape like I said we use it mainly for making patterns or tracing drawings or things like that that we use on a lot of our wood projects it, it's especially handy for using it on a on a scroll saw to make those uh, nice printable patterns that you can you know temporarily glue onto a piece of wood and then cut out and we've also used it to make patterns for our bandsaw which is pretty much the same concept but if you like this video or if it was helpful you helpful to you in any way um, you can support us by subscribing to our channel or liking this video or sharing it and you can also follow us on Facebook Twitter or Google Plus I just want to thank you again for taking the time to watch us now go create something